That's one small splash for man and one giant leap for mankind. UTSA students and staff have developed underwater robots that can think for themselves. For those who've spent years working with robotics, it's a dream come true. Yes, this is the ultimate, making something that will work on its own without your assistance, but only because you've programmed it, you've told it how to work. It's a lot of fun. These robots are equipped with navigation, sonar, cameras, sensors, and most importantly, a microprocessing system, essentially a brain that allows it to talk and work with other robots. Suppose if there is a rock, if one finds if there is a rock, you should not hit the rock. So it will communicate with the other robots. So, okay, fine, there is something ahead. So please choose your path to go somewhere. It's called distributed intelligence. You'd be amazed at what an army of these robots can do working together without putting people in harm's way. Missions ranging from underwater inspections to border security, exploration, and even search and rescue. Let's say I was a diver stranded underwater. A swarm of robots just like this one would be able to find me and cover a lot of ground using not just cameras for visual proof, but also metal detectors to find any sort of metal items I might have with me. This type of engineering is nothing new to UTSA. Last year we showed you what students were doing with technology like this on land. This year it's water, and of course that means robotic aircraft will come in the future, something that could put UTSA above the rest. To the best of my knowledge, no other place in the country who is looking at all three domains simultaneously and connect the dots between them. This is what we hope to achieve. Adam Kruger, Fox News at 9.